Hey, beautiful friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Robin Graham show. I wish I could see a show of hands because I'm curious how many of you would prefer to grow your business without having to be on social media, without the anxieties of social media, without the pressure of social media. I bet the majority of you would be raising your hands and that's awesome because that's why I'm here. And today we're going to talk about how you need to create or grow your email list so that you can do just that. Step away from social media or at least alleviate some of the demands and pressures related to it. So let's dive in. Email marketing should be part of your overall brand marketing strategy if you want to grow your business with simplicity, ease, and grace, which is what I'm all about. There's no time for extra pressure and stress. We want to get things done, but we want to do so in the most simple, easiest, graceful way, right? With peace in our hearts. Email marketing works hand in hand with search engine optimization, SEO. And I know we've been talking a lot about SEO lately, but that's because it is so absolutely critically important for growing a business to have limitless earning potential. But you need to grow your email list if you want to grow your business without having to be on social media 24-7, especially if you want to achieve that long-term success and security within your business. You didn't start a business just to have it for a few years. And you absolutely do not want to fall into the statistics that over 45% of businesses fail in the first five years. So let's start implementing some of these easy strategies that can be simplified, like growing an email list so that you don't fall into one of those statistics so that you have long-term success and can continue to follow your calling, your purpose. But not only that, to be able to have that security long-term and to see the future ahead of you in a positive way. So let's review the five reasons that you need to increase the size of your email list to increase opportunities. The first one is to nurture your community and build trust. Build trust by sharing stories about the personal side of you, your professional journey, and how it has helped you build your expertise the reasons that your clients hire you, their pain points, what they've been experiencing, and how you have stepped in to help them become the hero of their own journey. Share stories of your clients' results and even share testimonials and the stories that led to the results that the testimonials are speaking to. Number two is grow your email list to drive traffic to your website. This is one of the most important. One of the reasons you need to grow your email list is to help drive that traffic to your website using email marketing. You build on your SEO strategy that way. And how? Well, the more traffic that you send to your website, the more Google will see that you're providing value and that you are worthy of them sending people to you. More organic traffic to your website will result in a higher Google ranking and where, you know, you'll show up better in the search results. We know that 97% of people buy when they see the first, the results on the first page of Google. So the more you can increase traffic to your website and build your authority and grow your rankings so that you show up on page one, the more likely you are to convert your clients. Send your email list to your blog to read more details about the subjects you're writing about in your email. So write that SEO, that search engine optimized blog post, and then direct people from your email list to go and read more. Just give them a hint, give them a little bit in that email and send them over to your website so that you can help boost your SEO. Have them read the majority of your content on your website you're still providing immense value. And it's so simple because you just include the URL, the hyperlink there in the email. So it's as simple as one, two, three, they just click and they're on your website, reading that incredible content and the value that you're providing for them. Number three is you get to demonstrate your expertise and authority. 
Share meaningful content in your emails to show that you're an authority in your niche. Provide value so that your community sees that you care about them and you want to help them. Share your experiences to de demonstrate that you understand their pain points, which will in turn help them trust that you're going to be able to help them because you've already experienced this. Give advice and share tips. And this is really key, differentiate yourself and your offerings to help them understand why you're the one that can help you, help them, that only you can solve their problem the way you can solve their problem, why you're the best person to help them get the best results that they need and want. And market your masterclasses, your webinars, anytime you're giving an opportunity to learn, maybe it's a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live, if you are on social media, map, market those in your emails so that you can draw people into those courses to give more value, but also ultimately sell your products and services. Number four is to alleviate anxiety over social media. When you create an email marketing strategy, you don't have to worry about the algorithm. You have a constant point of contact with your community. There's no censorship with your email content either. And when you grow your email list, you, you create a community or a forum that you own and you don't have to worry about it getting hacked or disappearing tomorrow or losing all of your followers. When you have an email strategy, you can decrease that anxiety over social media because you have more eyes on your content. When you share valuable and meaningful content, your community will open your emails. Use catchy subject lines. And I'll link another episode in the show notes for an episode that I did with the email marketing heroes and the information that they included about creating those catchy headlines, subject lines, I should say. And then when you do so, you'll have more eyes on your content. We know that about only 2% of the people that follow you on social media are going to see your content. But with email marketing, if you have a catchy subject line and you are providing value and you're building a sense of community and you're building a sense of trust, you're going to have email open rates well over 35%. So way more eyes seeing your content with a lot less stress and frustration. Number five is to become more memorable and stay front of mind. So that's the fifth reason to grow your email list. Even if your email list doesn't buy from you today, they may have a conversation tomorrow with someone and that person is speaking to a need that you just spoke to in your email. So referrals are a great source of revenue and your email marketing strategy will ultimately include referrals. The need to grow your email list is relevant if you want to stay front of mind. Your community may not be ready to buy today, but as you nurture them and you prove yourself and you continue to build trust and show and demonstrate your authority and that you are an expert, they will eventually buy from you. And like I said, even if they don't buy, they know other people who will buy. As you grow your email list, you open doors of opportunities, even for collaborations. All right. Are you an action taker and ready to grow your business for limitless earning potential? Do you feel frustrated and tired from creating so much content for social media only to achieve minimal results? Have you felt like you're doing everything in air quotes in your business, but still not attracting your soulmate clients? As a Christian business coach for Christian entrepreneurs and small business owners, I've heard it all. Most of my clients come to me because they have a great idea and really big dreams that they want to bring to fruition, but working in their business on their own hasn't produced the results that they want. It hasn't produced the revenue that they want. My mission is to help you grow your business with simplicity, ease, and grace. 
SEO and email marketing are two key strategies that I incorporate incorporate into my purpose to results method and program. During my six month program, we cover these strategies and much, much more. But if you just need clarity around your SEO and email marketing strategy to jumpstart soulmate client attraction, I offer a one hour one-on-one strategy transformation call. You also get one week of Voxer support so that anything that we talk about during that one hour strategy session, you have an opportunity to ask questions for a week post the call, as well as have accountability from me. I always implement or um, attach my accountability framework to any call that we have. So you will be held accountable for taking that intentional effective action after we work together for that hour to transform your strategy so that you do start attracting your soulmate clients faster. Because when you attract your soulmate clients faster, you're also going to have an impact faster and generate revenue faster. All three are key for long-term success and a lifetime of earning potential. Sometimes it's a super simple shift that gets extreme results. Are you ready for that shift? Of course you are. So book your strategy call today. The link is in the show notes. Thanks for being here, everybody. I truly appreciate every single time you listen to one of the shows. It means the world to me to know that you are consuming this information and you're finding it helpful. If you would be so kind to leave a rating and review with your comments, your thoughts, and you know how this information is helping you, I would be so grateful because that's how we continue to grow. That's how I can get great guests on the show, but it also helps with our rankings and just showing that the information is valuable. So like I talked about earlier with search engine optimization and really showing Google that we're providing valuable information, it's the same thing with podcast. So if you would be so kind to leave a rating and review, I would be so grateful. But most importantly, I hope that you will take these five reasons to grow your email list and start implementing because once you have an email marketing strategy and you are showing up for your audience in that simple way of sending them an email and your emails don't have to be long, they don't have to be time consuming. You can look at your daily experiences and pull from some of the things that I suggested and start sending those emails, grow that trust and build your business. All right. With that, I'm closing out, but We will be here next week and I'll see you then.